it's Ali here from Ali's Therapy Academy with this week's uh, business tip for you. And this week we've got, we're now leading up um, to Christmas where you can, your businesses can work in either way. You can either be very busy now leading up to Christmas or you can find that you're on the quiet side. But with leading up to Christmas, with you know, you've got to put all the marketing marketing steps and things that you're out there. There's very many marketing pillars that you can use for your business. Now, one of them, and it's a major thing these days, is being online. Now, I know some of you, as therapists with your practice, you don't like the idea of, of putting yourself out there, of, of being seen. Um, but if you don't let people know that you exist... If you don't let others know that your business exists and you exist as a therapist, then nobody's going to, to book you up for that you know, long-awaited session they need for a massage or reflexology or whatever it is that, that they want. So what you've got to think of these days is you know, where, your clients, where your clients are at. So the one thing you really need to do is to get online. People aren't looking at yellow pages anymore. Um, they do look at papers, but not everybody buys a paper. Also, a lot of people now look at the papers online. They can get they can get the app and they can look at it through that way, or you know, local local things. So what you need to do is this is it. It's to have an online presence. It's to get your business out there online and be seen. Now. There's very many ways of doing this, and I know some were going to, oh, you know, yeah, but I don't want to be on Facebook or whatever. If your clients aren't there on Facebook, then there's no point in having a Facebook page unless you like, you know, you, you, you like doing that. And, you know, you just said, again, you want to be seen. But you need to use um, the internet and need to use your online presence to show your expertise. It's that keeping in contact with people. Your clients aren't going to book up on the first sight of seeing you or that first contact made. It normally takes quite a while um, to build that relationship, to build that trust with you. They want to get to know you before they actually make that appointment. And this is where being online, it this helps because it builds up that trust. It builds that relationship and they get to know you. This is a way, as I said, of showing your expertise. If you blog, if you have social media, if you um, do videos, do newsletters, it's sharing your health and your, your wealth and your expertise. It's sharing your knowledge. So you're not just selling to them. You're sharing your tips and your advice to them. Now, doesn't mean having to be all glamorous. I'm sure if we're going to look at videos, doesn't mean all about having to be all glamorous. I mean, look at me, you know, got no makeup on, no nothing. This is how I am. There's no point putting yourself covered in makeup if that's not how you are and how you work. And I don't think as most therapists, we don't. So I am as I am, which is no makeup. And that's how I do my videos. It doesn't look very glamorous, but it's me. It's the authentic me. And that's how I work. So if you're going to do videos, do it that way. Don't worry about being a perfectionist. You can see again with the lighting, it's not perfect. But be your authentic self. Be you. Be who you are. Share your knowledge. Be the expert. Be a help for them. So help them with skincare. Help them with stretches. Maybe your clients work in the office and they're at the desk all day. Share some stretches with them, whether it's you know videos of it or whether it's a poster of the different stretches or talking them through it. Share that. If you're not you know not too bad and you're, you're happy to do audio. Do some audio health tips that you can share. Always try and think differently to what, because there's, we're in saturated with therapists now. There are many therapists out there and we're all offering similar things. So it's trying to think out of the box, trying to think differently and market differently to everywhere else. You need to show yourself that you, you know, you need to show that you're there. You need to show that you're different. And you know what your USP is, what makes you so special, and why they should contact you and work with you, why they should 
book you for your therapies. So have a look, have a think, look at what you can do online. As I said, there's lots that you can use, what with Facebook, what with Twitter. Um, make sure you've got a LinkedIn um, profile because, again, with Google, LinkedIn now is, is recognised and it comes up, you know, often um, in line, you know, above your website. So get the LinkedIn profile, if nothing else. Again, covering and showing all your expertise on that. Um, but just all the things that you can do that you can get out there will, will show and will make a new contact. So you build that database and you keep, keep in touch with all the people that contact you and share your knowledge and get, your, get yourself out there. There's many programs, many software that you can use to make the newsletter, to make a template, so it does all become easier for you. And yes, it does take time, but once you've got all that in place, then you will see these people will come to you and you'll get your sign-ups and you'll get a lot more clients, which will build then into your system. So I hope that helps. Get in there, get out there, get on the internet, and give yourself an online present. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.